Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing today? It's Friday. It's the 7th of January, 2022. God bless each and every one of us. Hey, we made it to the end of the week. I just want to praise God this morning. Thank Him for another beautiful day. Thank Him for a day we can just worship Him and love Him. Just to know that He is God. Again, doesn't matter where we are, what we're doing. We just need to acknowledge Him and raise up the name, lift up the name of Jesus, that Jesus Christ is Lord and Messiah, the King. Remember the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We have a choice to do it here in this side of the earth and get get saved in the redemption, or we're going to do it on the other side when we don't have, who can't get saved in redemption. So the choice is ours. So I just want to say God bless each and every one of these. I put a great scripture here. It's, it's Ephesians 1, 7. It says here that in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. But according to which is in God's grace, we have redemption. We have redemption. We have redemption. I just want to say, God bless each and every one of us because God has given us his redemption. He has called us. He has pulled us. He has he, he just yearns to have us. And he does everything he can through his son Jesus by the Spirit of the Lord. That we are indeed have redemption, that we redeem in the blood of the Lamb, that we've been redeemed by the work of the cross of Calvary. Just acknowledge that today, that thank the Father in heaven that we have salvation through Jesus Christ, that we've been given life and life more abundantly, that we are alive and live because of what Jesus has done for us. So I want to pray a prayer of blessing on you this Friday, knowing that indeed we do have redemption. We do have redemption. Father, I thank you that you have indeed redeemed us, Father. That, Father, it's your good pleasure and will for us to be, be adopted into the family of God. That, Father, that we are in your presence because you have opened the door through your Son, Jesus, Father, for us to come. So I pray this morning, Father, that each and every one of us, Father, would just recognize and understand that, yes, indeed, we have been redeemed. We've been redeemed by the, by the cross of Calvary, what Jesus did for us. Father, I pray that we would all be humble ourselves and say, Father, it is you who has done all this for us through your Son, Jesus, and by the Spirit of God. Father, again, I thank you for this beautiful day, Friday the 7th of January, 2022. I pray that each and every one of us, Father, will have a deeper, more understanding of a relationship of who you are, who you are through your son, Jesus, who you are, Father, by the Spirit of the Lord. Father, again, I thank you today, Father. So, Father, once more, I just thank you for your word. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus, amen. Again, Ephesians 1, 7 says that in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with with the riches of God's grace. It's that simple. It's the riches of God's grace. It's that simple. We can't earn it. We can't do nothing to get God's grace. We can't do nothing to get redeemed. Jesus did it all for us. God, we can't earn God's love. God loves us. Bible says that God is love. So just remember this. We walk this day to day that we are born again, saved, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb for what Jesus Christ did for us. Walk in the power and the might of the Spirit today. Let's be ambassadors of Christ. Let's let, let the light of Jesus shine through each and every one of us this day. Have a blessed day today. Again, Friday the 7th of, of January 2022. Be blessed. Know God's alive. And one last thing again, the guy in that camera, he prays for you. You be blessed. Have a great day. Take care.